hospital. We sit down and buy, but I'm an Anya. I'm an Anya. I'm a Livia. Pick up America. Welcome, welcome, welcome. No, we Welcome to Back in the Culture. As we celebrate you. A true icon. Sweet Jamaica. Talk about Miss Low. Such a great time program lined up for you. We got men to come in your way. Poetry. Fashion show. We have the great fit Ellen Turner. Consul General of Jamaica, and so much more. I will never leave her shores. I will never run away. It's going to be a great night this evening, eh? I will always believe in the black, the green, the gold, I say. It's our culture. Our nation, great of all the tribes. We must face the test of time. Because our people, they are strong, and we are going to get along. Because some people say we are poor. But the progress you make, my friend, is not always a rich you are. So we got so that. This is the land of my birth. I said, this is the land of my birth. I may say, this is Jamaica. Jamaica. The land of my birth. Let us stop for a minute. We have had great artists. Blessings one by one. Like Bob Marley, of course. Huh? We should never be disloyal. They crown me king of reggae music. But someone give the crown to Dennis Brown. But when it comes to Miss Low, undoubtedly, she's a great test. No one else like her. She's truly one in a million. Eh? Big us, honey. Eh? Jamaica's near and far. Welcome one and all to Back in the Culture, celebrating Miss Lou. Facebook, welcome also. Some of them are... Some are clean, clean. Them are sing. Some are them are. Some are bad. Some are calling. Still, them are do them thing. Some are them are. Some are bad. Some are blackboard. Them are walla in a mud. I got five minutes at the start out, all right? Where my brown girls at? Brown girl. You're sweet, Adam. Like the brown girls, sweet like sugar. Them black girls, sweet like honey, all right? Brown girl, you're sweet like a sugar. Sheila, you're nice like a money. I take a walk out the street late last night. I tell a girl how they do I was standing outside my gate one day I hear someone say I'm oh, But when I take a look at this same brown girl Let me tell you this sweet how they do It was so Girl that's so What to be must do Now when I call around I mean big papi on The man they can watch that So when I call around I mean sitting on but when I call around I'm in big bedroom Man, you should have did that It was so Brown girl nice Like a brown rice Brown girl, I want to squeeze me nice Brown girl I want you to do it right The Foundation Do you remember this one? Hilangoli. Hilangoli. Hilangoli, but I bend down low. Hilangoli, bend down low. Hilangoli. 
Original mental music. Eh? Let's go back to Master Control. Man, we as Jamaicans, we need to celebrate. We read him, we rhyme, we reason. Big up with creativity. Don't hate. This is the time. This is the season. The season for celebrate and educate with youth, with honoraries, and with friends. Make them know and understand with faith. And make them know that Patwa never go end. Look, man. Miss Lou, Mars Ran, Uncle Charlie and the rest. Spend them tears giving up them best. The least that me and you can do is make sure so we see them legacy true. So, Miss Lou gone. But our style still live on. Me not going to make it dead. For with culture and lyrics, we must be fed. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, man, Miss Lou birthday. I'm looking for a treat today. And right now, I am going to invite on Mr. Colin Smith. He is the president of the Louise Bennett Heritage Council. And Mr. Charles Smart, CEO of Jamaican Heroes Modernize. Charles and Colin. Well, good afternoon, Charles. I tell you. This planning has been incredible. 
And um, I'm honored that, you know, the Louise Bennett Heritage Council even came to us and asked us to partner with them on this event. And so far, it's just been great working with you guys. Let me tell you, it has been an equally good pleasure for us because we had lots of things planned for this day. Mm -hmm. But this thing named COVID is a bad <laughs> thing, right? Yes. We had to change our plans. Completely. So when we decided we would um, do a virtual program and Dr. Sue put you in touch with us, mm -hmm. I said, this is it. And so let me thank you and congratulate you for stepping forward at such a short notice to join us. No, well, we appreciate it. You know, at the end of the day, this project um, that we're doing aligns directly with what you guys are doing with the Heritage Council. Because what we are about is about taking the story of our heroes and those cultural icons and stalwarts of our culture and making sure that we modernize the way that they're being portrayed and also making that information about who they are accessible. Yes. And it just so happens that one of the individuals that we are going to be featuring in our 10 episode film series is Miss Lou. Been. And yeah, so that is a, a, a very easy alignment for us. So when Dr. Sue came to me, it was you know yes. easy for us to see how that could come together. I am very happy to hear this because you know, the story of Miss Lou is one that is not yet even fully told. Correct. There's so much about her that needs to be said. Most people think of her as a comedian. Right. That is only because of the way she delivered a lot of her, but there was some very serious social commentaries behind what she was and saying. And activism behind a lot of the of work course. that she did. You know, she was a guardian, as people may indeed, not know. Indeed, indeed. And she also, you know, took Jamaican language to the world yes. and made Jamaicans feel like, it's all right to talk to Patwa. You can yes, own it yes. as your own. And she popularized a lot of those Jamaican folk tales that grandparents used to tell to grandchildren mm -hmm. from she made an album way back in the early 50s a lot of people don't know that she was in the recording business from back then right um, and arguably has been <laughs> the, the the first recording uh, artist for jamaica and if you doubt that you can check with the institute of jamaica, jamaica yes, yes indeed yes. you know so today we are happy to be here and we have an um, incredible show planned for everybody um, you know, it's been great working with the Louise Bennett Heritage Council, and today they helped us to put together an amazing show. Um, and so right now we're going to introduce our host. Um, we have the distinguished Faye Ellington, which is going to be guiding us through this. It's I, ca I call Faye Ellington the Oprah of Jamaica, if you will. And she's going to be taking us through the show and, you know, letting us know that, listen, Let's celebrate Miss Lou. This is her birthday. September 7th is her birthday. And so we're going to be celebrating her with a number of different performances. So we're going to turn over right now to our host, Faye Allington. Thank you. Thank you very much, Charles. It's an honor and privilege to be here. Let me apologize for little snags we had with the technology at the start. But I think we've sorted that out now. And welcome you wherever you are in the world. It's not only Florida, you know, there are people in Jamaica watching this. There are people in England watching this. There are people in Canada watching this. Oh, yes, Miss Senate wide and far. But let me just say that Miss Lou was, a, from, in my mind, a political and social revolutionary. When you look at the work that she has done through her many writings, not just the poems, and you see the topics and the subject areas that she attacked and uh, she explicated that you know that she was taking this thing very seriously and Miss Lou wasn't just in it for a laugh and a lark she was in it for you to think for you to process for you to analyze and that meant a lot to me I was particularly honored to have been in her presence as a young theater artist both in the first pantomime I did in 1971 and um, at the Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation where she would come to do Miss Lou's views and we sat in the same production studio I'm telling you she did love party you see and I cement she always goes send goodbye party and I cement and share it with the rest of us she was that kind of person she was a person of love she loved everybody and she was a community person she dealt with community of course you know she went across the length and breadth of Jamaica researching who we are and working on our language and um, you know she got a lot of fight when she first started out with the Jamaican language and I call it the Jamaican language not Patois or Creole or dialect um, it's okay if you want to do that but the Jamaican language 
And so um, she she elevated that and um, or bandana. She dignified that because people used to call it market clerk. And that they used to call this. She elevated that costumes. And so you've had so many groups using costumes. But a woman of vision and strength, a trailblazer. And it is an honor and privilege to be hosting this event. To all our friends in Florida, I will talk a little bit more about people like Miss Norman, Colin Smith, and, and others. But right now, let me introduce the Council General, Jamaica Council General. And you see, I get him very proper, but me know him as someone who works in theater as well. And he has such a sense of the theatrics and the gift of rapporteur. So let me invite at this time, Oliver Mayer, it is good that you're here. It's always an honor. First of all, happy birthday, Miss Lou. I, today, just today, I posted a picture that I took with Miss Lou and the amount of jealous comments I have received, I'm telling you. Um, you can tell a lot of people would have loved that opportunity. I was with Air Jamaica at the time. She came um, to Jamaica and um, I introduced myself and I told her my name was Oliver Mayer. She said, Mayor? You know, my teeth doctor is Tony Mir in Toronto. Yes, man, he treat me good. And I felt so at home. And Miss Lou had a way of making everybody feel at home and included. In fact, I can say it was a pleasure for me to watch Ring Ding. Every Saturday morning, um, you know, I would watch the show and I would think, what would I do if I was on that show? And though I never quite boast on the show, it was an honor to feel a part of a national movement. And she, Miss Lou really made everybody feel special. But I want to, as Council General, just congratulate the Louis Bennett Heritage Council for the great work that they continue to do in keeping the lovely message of our mother of culture alive. And wherever you are, I want you to give them a big round of applause, Colin Smith and team, the Louis Bennett Heritage Council. I want to congratulate my good friend, Charles Smart, for helping to put together this production. Years ago, I did a, a comedy series called Laugh It Off and This Thing. And basically what we did was to make fun of popular um, figures in, in society. And we did a thing, what we did was to take bad thing, make laugh. And that's what Miss Lou did. Um, she, social commentary. She made fun of what was taking place in society and allowed us as a people to laugh at ourselves, but not just laugh, to listen and to learn. Social commentary was very important. But Miss Lou was not a lady of just talking and talking too long. She was a lady of performance. And so, even though I didn't prepare for it, my brother Colin Smith, come, come and let us just do a quick medley. All right, this is unrehearsed. Please don't hold this against me, but performance is so important. And she sang a lot of folk songs. So I'm just going to give you a little quick medley here with Brother Colin. Start. Don't go there, dog. Waramachis lit. Don't go down there. No, 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 dog. Waramachis lit. Can't go down there. Dog war a match is lane, don't go down there. Will Fred have three dog a yard, them can't agree at all. Them near Miss Cook's road, suck me blood, cha find them can't agree at all. Dr. So, dog war a match is lane, you can't go down there. Don't go there, dog war a match is lane, don't go down there. No, 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 no. Dagwara matches lean, you can't go down there. Dagwara matches lean, don't go down there. All right, go over route now. <coughs> <laughs> go over route medicine. Go over route medicine. Go over route medicine, figure cure all the young girl fever. Go over route medicine. Go over route and medicine. Go over route and medicine. Figure cure all the young girl fever. The other day the girl texted. The other day the girl texted. 
The other day the girl takes it can be carried to see one do good man. Do good man say bring her come. Do good man say bring her come. Do good man say bring her come. If say girl all you want is guava root pull up. <laughs> Hugging at the cocoa, does a dig out the minty. Hugging at the cocoa, does a dig out the minty. Pass me a pass by when we look through the window. Me see the hugging of the cocoa, does a dig out the minty. Hug, hugging of the cocoa, does a dig out the minty. Now, hugging of the cocoa, does a dig out the minty. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, do enjoy the show. Aye, aye, aye. One love. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Consul General. And thanks to Colin Smith, who just found his guitar right on time. But then again, you see, that's Colin. We were members of the Jamaican folk singers, you know? So I understood that and he would have been ready for that. And Consul General, you still a draw tune. I got a producer. Check me after COVID done. Put it on the COVID-19 label. How is that? <laughs> anyway. I'm not the poet. The poet is standing and ready to perform. This is a man with an international presence. But what is interesting about this gentleman is that he was a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force way back when, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, he then took another path in life and the creative world beckoned him and he didn't pause, he didn't hesitate. He's traveled extensively and he has he's a man with a heart. I remember just inviting him up to the university at the Caribbean School of Media and Communication to talk with my students. And he came along with Tom and Ellis because a group of them started to that work together in dog poetry. Could you help me welcome Malachi Smith? Jamaica capture my heart. Me land a yard and Jamaica run out and grab me. Spin me like a gig and bust big kiss for me. Take our breath, cover my eyes. Whisper in them ears, you are me. You can wave your wife bye bye. Rub her hand in my head, cool like blue morning breeze. That shall let grow me and say, take anything you please. Me make for ball out. Jamaica grab me mouth. You see a long time me there, steam fish. I hope it that drink your stout. Me try to flag down a police. Nope, me could have said that in afraid. Because before him could have woke me out, Jamaica just drop our shade. So him dip round a corner like him didn't see. That right there before the whole wide world, Jamaica was kidnapping me. Me jump in a juta. And me say, drive, drive, I drive. But before him could have catch a gear, Jamaica was right by my side. She say, you're going like a fool, fool. Me a millionaire come jumping on my waterfalls and not leaving here. She feed me ackee and salt fish roast, breadfruit and cocoa tea. Lunch time before me can say who that? A snapper is in front of me. Dinner time, she serve up everything hot. And though she have long nails, she not afraid for stir her pot. So me shut me eye tight and take one little digga digga kiss. Little did I know that the end result would be this. Jamaica says she's pregnant and is expecting twins. So me can't take me a half of Miami because she now make me go back a foreign. Dear, my dear, my dear wife, me swear to God that it was just a one night stand. But why me the plan for liquor run Jamaica had other plans? You know, say, me did take a oath that until death us do part. Sweetie, oh, no, no, no. me have to modify that sentiment for Jamaica capture me heart. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. As Miss Lou would say, thank you, Malachi. Long time no see you in person, but I know we touch base every now and again using the medium that is available to us. And, you know, I just want to welcome you. You're perhaps you're just joining. We're very happy. This is a collaborative effort. I want to thank Charles Smart and his team. Then, of course, we know what the Louise Bennett Coverley Heritage Council has been doing for so many years. You know, we'll hear from Norma Darby later on. But this is collaborative. And all of the performers have come on to celebrate, to recognize, to observe the work of this great Jamaican 
she would have been 102 or thereabout today. Yep. And uh, when things get to uptime, when we can move around, then if you come to Jamaica, you go to Gordon Town and you ensure that you look at the statue that has been put there. But something else, read her work, right? There's a room in Toronto dedicated to Miss Lou. Some of her works you'll find at the Institute of Jamaica. But one of the things that really give me a little bit of concern sometimes when you show a picture of a woman of her stature to many people 35 and under or even older, they don't know who. So we have to fix that. We really, really have to fix that. So I mentioned Colin Smith earlier on. And so let me just uh, introduce him now. Colin and I were members of the Jamaican Folk Singers. He was there before I joined and I joined in about 73, 74. But Colin made, um, he took the music, it, it, it filled his heart and, and he just found like-minded people in Florida and they formed this mentor band, but then they've elevated it now to the mentor Philharmonic Orchestra. And I love that. So president of the Louise Bennett Coverly Heritage Council, that's Colin Smith, a Jamaican artist, a musician. He's a great painter. Oh my goodness, yes, it's true. And director of the mentor Philharmonic Orchestra and a member of the Jamaican Folk Singers. Once you're a member of the Jamaican Folk Singers, even if you don't perform for years, you're still a member of the Jamaican Folk Singers. And he says he wants to thank Norma Darby, the folklorist, the musician, founder and past president uh, of the Louise Bennett Coverly Heritage Council and the Jamaican Folk Review. So let us welcome at this time, yes, let us welcome the me Mentor Philharmonic Orchestra for them to just uh, suck it to you in real Jamaican style. Here we go. We're almost there. We have to celebrate Miss Lou. She's an icon, a hero, a peace setter, a pioneer, a forerunner. She's just the, the real deal. From radio broadcasting to theater to poetry to comedy to folklore studies, she is just is just immortal. Miss Lou, imagine the first woman, black woman, to have her own radio show in BBC in London, to Jamaica, the radio Jamaica, to Miss Lou's views on radio. Miss Lou is just exceptional. Indomitable. We have to celebrate Miss Lou. From a Jamaica, <laughs> Lord, my child. Let me tell you, see, a lot of people say yes, I mean, I live a foreign. Who no can go on? Any which part me live, 
Toronto, London, Florida, I dream you come in there. I see how I make a people. I mean, we have a good time over there. And, and me, me is a senior citizen. Me not shame for saying me a senior citizen over there because I'm treating senior citizen good. Make me tell you something. Sometimes I go into a store and when the woman said to me, um, are you 65? Me go for hesitate, but she says, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the, Here are now. Oh, today we have a special, you know, 25%. Um, discount for, for 65. Yeah, I say I am um, 70. <laughs> Child, the people don't stand one clap me on top of it. So I go, black time out, so <clears throat> you know you're not uh, Mrs. McCuffum Kufum all night. <laughs> so the next morning I say, look, I feel my jaw like me have fever. Temperature, them call it over there. <laughs> so me say, so me say, um, we call them up at the Royal Festival Hall and I say, look now, I have a temperature, you have to send a doctor. I said, all right, you sent the doctor right away. Oh, yes, Mr. Lee. And the doctor come and said, he came to take my temperature. I said, what's your name, doctor? He says, La Fever. <laughs> <laughs> Brother boy, you think that's all like that's a story, but that's true. <laughs> I'm sorry, I never bring one of the cards to show you. La Fever, the doctor name. <laughs> come protect my temperature. Well, anyhow, we get over there one day, but we laugh after. You see, we can't take bad things in the club. Yeah, man. Another bad thing that we have is I take love, make love uh, at Toronto is um, Gilbert. <laughs> and one of the stories that I like, I'm saying this poor man, him sitting in his room, and he feel the hurricane go, and the breeze blow, and he moan up his head, and he say, Lord have mercy. And him just see him, him house that blew up, and him I look on the sky. <laughs> and him shut up him and say, Lord help me. Him open him and him see a chandelier. <laughs> Hosanna, me build me house so oh. ha, me build it on a sandy ground. The old young wetty up, the rain come wetty up. Bad people go up yah, they wash them out funny. Me house is weak, you see. Me house is weak and done. Me build on a sandy ground. Me build on a sandy ground. Hosanna, me build me the house, so oh, ha, me build it on a rocky ground. The rain come fall pony, it, the sun come shine pony. it, me house it drunk, you see, me house it drunk and done. Me build it on a rocky ground, me build it on a rocky ground. Hosanna, Hosanna, ho, ho. So that's why you hear my auntie wrote, she said that it really, really vexed her any time she hear people a, a, a style to the Jamaica language as corruption of the English language. For she no know we make them not call English language corruption of the Norman French and the Greek and the Latin, but I'm saying English is derived from. <laughs> You hear the word? Derived. English derived, but Jamaica corrupt. <laughs> and Arthur Rhodes said, Not now go so. Jamaica derived too. <laughs> and if they talk about 40 smarty, they say, You. <laughs> when we are talking about one smarty, we say, You. <laughs> and if I'm more than one smarty, we say, Oh no. <laughs> Are you you're right calling the English them say bad worse worst <laughs> and them stop there so we say bad worse wasa <laughs> and when we sing thing bad wasa down wasa we say wasa ra <laughs> wasa ra
Vegas or Camarillo. A tribute to Miss Lou. A please to represent for Miss Lou standing place, without whom the precious patwa would still be deemed a disgrace. She makes it up and pred it out all over the place. Now nobody can say Patwa is in poor taste. Set down my name, I come in to represent. I have to tell a story of our icon that will make on her head swell. She write plenty, plenty poem, stories, songs. Why Lulu, for me, you can never go wrong. Pantomime is not the same since you left it, my dear. Them still are gone, but your unique voice we can still hear. Echoing and bouncing off the theater wall. I remember how you used to make me laugh till out of my seat, me tumble and fall. <laughs> so although you're gone, your work still live on. For as long as me live, enough, enough tribute to you I will give. But you know, I can only represent you, Miss Lou. I can't take your place. You're truly one of a kind that no one can replace. Thank you, Jean. Thank you very much. Everybody has been inspired by the Honorable Louise Bennett Coverley. And she was given so many honorary doctorates for her outstanding work. Let us not forget that as we go along in this event to celebrate her this evening. If you are in California, I know I told somebody about it who is in California, uh, let me say welcome, right? All right, we're moving along, and I don't know when I put this person on the program, but he's here anyway, so I think I should introduce him. He sees himself as an outstanding singer, a soloist, a musician, and a performer who has dedicated his life to lifting people's spirit with music. And he found his voice through the occasional request to sing for family events. And did he sing? He was once my neighbor. I'm not joking. Could you help me welcome Steve Higgins? My advice, there is nothing nice like the dip and fall back. Now when the war was over and everything was scarce, and man was experimenting with things to fill their fears, we had a lot of was out of stock, so to get a blend, we recommend the dip and fall back. Dip and fall back, oh, dip and fall back. My advice, there is nothing nice like the dip and fall back. Some people call it dashing, some call it pull me up, some call it rock and fall back, but we call it pull me gut. But how did it taste so sweet and how it make you fat? Now you take the shad and herring and you put it on the soak. Get a bone dry coconut, you don't need no pork. You grate a down the coconut and put it on the boil. Till the coconut start to settle down on the coconut oil. Now you take the shad and herring and you put it on the steam. With the pepper, tomato, scale, yeah, and till it form a cream. No stew, beef, or mackerel, herring, pork, or sprat. Can't be so sweet when you start to eat the dip and fall back. Dip and fall back, dip and fall back. My advice, there is nothing nice like the dip and fall back. Take me mule and take me drink. Take me 
married wife and my three sweetheart away. Take away my house and take away my burial spot. But don't skylock or a bust your head to feed me deep and fall back. Deep and fall back. Oh, deep and fall back. My advice, there is nothing nice like the deep and fall back. Deep and fall back. Oh, deep and fall back. My advice, there is nothing nice like the deep and fall back. Oh boy, the dip and fall back indeed. If you know another name for dip and fall back, put it into the chat. I'm going to test on you this evening. I'm going to not come if it does get entertainment and not go work. Especially those of you that are far enough to get your roots. They hear them now, scratch your head. Dip and fall back, it have another name. It have another... Yes, it have another name. Hmm. All right. I'm going to pair two people. Now, what do you get when you pair an author, um, uh, an award-winning journalist, a book editor, a poet, an actress with somebody who is a voice, stage, and screen actress, writer, producer, and director of audiovisual content, who is also the CEO of Yard Bridge Entertainment, and then this person who is the author, the first one I may talk about, she was born and raised in Jamaica but now resides in New York. What do you get when you pair those two you get a poem and i want you to listen here goes could you help me welcome trudy knockless and sharanda farrell miss lou you know so i'm sitting at thing from what they say i feel to say me want to go back to africa yes back to africa that me say Miss Lou, Africa, we come from, you know? Africa, the whole we come from. We have another little technical itch. Trudy, Trudy, your mic, no, unmute your mic. <laughs> and you to my no no make me come to you with the cocoa maca ticket no or <laughs> drop a little coach you know you see then no hop me mic through the top let me make sure so i can hear you talk got it got it, got it. through the attack i am can you hear me oh, oh, are you speaking yes i am speak and take a day all right miss <laughs> <laughs> louis you ready for me yes you ready I sit down for a wedding and I'm a school. I'm a field to say. No one go back to Africa. Back to Africa, Miss Matty. Yes, back to Africa, that me say. You don't know why you that say. What? You have to come from somewhere first before you can go back there. Yeah, but Miss Lou, Africa me come from. Africa, the whole we come from. Where are you talking about? <laughs> you know, say that your great, great, great grandma was African. But Matty, do your great, great, great grandpa was English, man? Yes, Miss Louise, but you need to understand. I may try to explain to you, right? And your great grandmother, father by your father's side was Jew, and your grandpa by your mother's side was French Parlevo. What the balance of your family, your whole generation? You know, all born on a born ground. You know, all is Jamaican. But all is Jamaican. <laughs> may I go now, Miss Louise? May I go? Then is where you going, Miss Matty? I'm not just tell you, Miss Louise, I'm going back to Africa, ma'am. Oh, you view the countenance. Mm -hmm. And between you and the Africans, it's great resemblance, you know. That's card me to that. All of them blue eye white American, who for great grandpa was English, man. What's good like in England? You didn't suck me, I know. <laughs> what a devil of a bump at war. Rig jig up a lamp farm. <laughs> the whole world starts to go back. Where did great grandpa come from? So you're too discouraging, man. Me never come for this level of discouragement, your man. Sure. Well, take your chance. But, Matty, do sure where you come from. So you got somewhere to come back to. Go far in. Seek your fortune. What do? Not tell nobody say you're going to seek your homeland. All right, that's all you're there. Fine. Mm. 
well, 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 you see them two there? I don't trust them. You hear what they're doing now. But I want to bring another little thing to you. Sometimes when people left their country and then throw a stone back at them, I'm going to use Proverbs as they come to me and I hope they can work it out. So you left your country, you throw a stone back at you. Hmm? That means you don't go back there. Hmm. You have to fix that. By the way, Mrs. Enough of Uno have the wrong dong answer. The pan fall back, wrong dong. Yes. All right. And I'm going to just put something here again because it is culture. There's something called, um, I'm, I'm, the, yeah, man, I'm coming up. There's something called uh, tire leaf, Jamaican culture. You know any other name for tire leaf? You know any other name for tire leaf? All right. So let me talk now a little bit about the Louise Bennett Coverley Heritage Council. Louise Bennett Coverley Heritage Council Incorporated is a 501c3. This is part of your thing I'm in America, a charitable organization dedicated to the preservation of Jamaica's rich cultural heritage in general, and in particular to that of the Honorable Louise Bennett Coverley. And each year there is an event to mark uh, the respect that they have for this woman. The programs of the air of the council embodies the theme of educating while entertaining, as well as promoting cultural understanding and appreciation of the cultural diversity and artistic excellence inherent in the people of Jamaica and the Caribbean. The council over the past 15 years has been the benefactor of over 33 scholarships. Hear that? 33 scholarships to deserving students at the Edna Manley College, that's right, right here in Jamaica, of the Visual and Performing Arts. And there are two other schools there now, by the way. And to the Broward College in Florida, in conjunction with Dr. Sue's Charitable Foundation and the Excelsior Alumni Florida Chapter, they have also awarded three additional scholarships to students from the Louise Bennett Coverley All Age School in Gordon Town in Jamaica. Uh, and those scholarships are for those students to attend the Excelsior High School. And that was the high school that Miss Lou attended. So I just wanted to bring that to you and um, just allow you to savor what the, these wonderful people do with, with the, um, in Florida and have been doing for so many years. All right. Uh, so I did tell you that you must work out some of the other things. Banana leaf used for Dukuno, yes. And, and there are other names as well. There are other names there as well. So having, <laughs> having said all of that, it is now time for me to move back now into um, the Mental Philharmonic Orchestra. So could we have another selection from the Mental Philharmonic Orchestra, Colin Smith? The music is superb. I enjoyed every moment of it. So do so as soon as uh, you have your big guitar and your banjo and your and your grater and whatever else you have there, just just dry it and play. Mm -hmm. All right, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Thank you, Curdle Ward. All right, blue drop. How oh, this is a decent event, you know? How so they put blue drawers in the chat? It's a decent, you couldn't send blue underclothes instead of blue drawers? <laughs> yes, man, do you know, name tire leaf or it name blue drawers. That's part of our culture. You know, when I talk of my culture like this on a day like today, when we honor Miss Lou, I have to think of somebody like Vivian Crawford, the executive director of the Institute of Jamaica. Oh, Christ, he's a walking encyclopedia of things cultural and things Jamaican. All right. So, as we prepare for the Philharmonic, the Mental Philharmonic Orchestra, let me also tell you some of the other people who will be performing here. Okay, you, Dr. Sue did her thing just now, but Amina Blackwood Meeks and Dr. Amina Blackwood Meeks has worked very diligently on understanding the worth, value, and work of Louise Bennett Coverley. So I'm very pleased whenever there's an event to do with Miss Lou to honor her when she is a part of the platform. So let us now go to the Philharmonic Mental Band and just jig. Mental is a serious thing, you know. So see if you can move, you know. It's not dance all. It is mental. <laughs> I 
them up and blend them to be flavor. <laughs> we shake them up and move them to be beat. We wheel them and we turn them and we rock them and we sound them and we temper them and laugh the rhythm sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Colin, I really enjoy that piece of music. And the let me just acknowledge those persons who are working on this production. It is not easy to be coordinating things from different parts of the world. Florida, Jamaica, uh, New York. Yeah, but thanks to everybody who's worked on this production uh, because it's a, it's a production of love. It's a production of love. And uh, you saw some of those images there, herself and Uncle Eric. And by the way, can you give me a name? Let me have to be a quizzer today, you know. What was Miss Lou's husband's name? He was Eric Coverley, but he had a stage name because he used to do a particular kind of art. So what was Miss Lou's husband's stage name? Right? Don't tell me Eric Overly. All right. Good. So we're going to learn some more about Miss Lou. We're going, we're going straight to Miss Lou now. Let me go on and see what I go on now. Celebrate Miss Lou because she has left a lasting legacy. She has left indelible foot. Miss Lou's work has influenced so many people who are carrying on the baton so wonderfully. I mean, people like her dear friend and garden town neighbor, the Honorable Barbara Gloudon, who wrote in the Star of Celeste. People like in, in Toronto, Letna Allen. People like in Florida, Dr. Sue. People like in Jamaica, Amina Blackwood Meeks, John Andrew Hutchinson, and the inimitable and wonderful, luminously radiant and transcendent, effervescent Faye Ellington. People like those have all been influenced by Miss Lou and carry on her great and lasting legacy. We love Miss Lou and we celebrate Miss Lou. All of it is Miss Lou. Yes, me and you. Me and you, Blacker, me and you. You know that I just love you with a passion. And don't tell your wife, okay? But you know I love you, okay, Blacker? And when you hear Blacker talk about Miss Lou, he understands what that landscape is all about. And we want to just tell you how much we appreciate you. Uh, just before we go to our next performer, um, some I asked, uh, what was Eric Coverley's name? That was Miss Lou's husband, his stage name. Somebody put Mr. Coverley, somebody, but somebody get it. Somebody put Mass Ron. No, Ronnie Williams was not Miss Lou's husband. You know much people walk on the place and tell life on Miss Lou. <laughs> And Thomas, right? But really, they thought that they were married at one time. That's another thing. No, his name was Chalk Talk. He would talk with you while you would have something on an easel, piece of paper. And as he's talking with you, he's drawing. He's drawing. All right. So that is his name, Chalk Talk. Let's see if you can do a little research on Eric Coverley because he was an amazing man. Amazing. All right. So is Steve Higgins going to be performing again? I think he should have been doing a duet with me. He's not doing a duet with me. Okay, let's hear the solo. He's a beautiful tenor. Let's hear it for Steve Higgins one more time. Come we go down, come we go down, come we go down, a solar's market. Come we go down, come we go down, I banana. Make we go down the solar's market. Oh. We go buy banana. Or if we get one binga. Oh. We go pen upon it. Come we go down, come we 
go down, come we go down. I saw last market, come we go down, come we go down. We go buy banana. Solas market, come we go down, come we go down, we go buy banana. Make we go down the solas market, we go buy banana. Let up the lock lock tread bad, before he black rabbit. Come we go down, come we go down, come we go down. A solas market, come we go down, come we go down, we go buy banana. Me say me go down the chicka foot market oh, And me hang a banana One chicka foot the all come grab me Bats me choke at the panel Come we go down, come we go down Come we go down, a soul as market Come we go down, come we go down We go, down. We go buy banana Oh, oh yes, banana Oh, oh yes, banana Wild one, oh, yes, banana Banana, come we go down, come we go down, come we go down, a soul of market, come we go down, come we go down, we go buy banana, come we go down, come we go down, come we go down, a soul of market, come we go down, come we go down, we go buy banana. Well, what kind of banana? Lakatan, Lakatan banana, robusta banana, valerie banana, frog banana, what kind of banana? What kind of banana? What kind of banana? <laughs> Same as usual. So beautifully done. I miss you. I miss you seeing you in Jamaica and seeing your smile. I really, really miss you. All right. So we're going to be moving along, but um, let me engage with some of the people. All right, come we go down a solos market, Daphne Edwards. Good, glad that you could join. Catherine Roswell, oh Jackie, oh Jackie, how we have all to misses. Great music. Steve Higgins says Nexus Performing Arts Company. Nexus is in the place. Lovely. Okay, and Carly saying hello, everyone. Lilith Nelson says, Carlin and those look at the chat again. <laughs> oh, whatever that is. All right. So then, may I may I join my very special friend at this time? My friend who may not sit down and chat so till for one plane ride, tell me was able to convince her, say, me should the interview her on a particular program, and she agreed. I want to, uh, lady, I see you, but I want to properly introduce you. So don't say one, don't say nothing yet, like I introduce you. I need what I have, so tap in eyes. Amina Blackwood Meeks. She holds a PhD in cultural studies. Now listen to the thesis. Her thesis was the oral tradition, displacement, adjustment, replacement. Storytelling as a tool for holistic development is available on the website of the University of the West Indies, Mona. So her dissertation you can find there. Amina is an award-winning actress from a long, long time, from today at University of the West Indies. She's been a storyteller because it came through her father and her mother. Uh, founder and artistic director of no Tukuma, uh, Tukuma, the Storytelling Foundation of Jamaica. And she weaves tales from the loom of her practical knowledge of the Caribbean, her life skills, those of her mother, her grandmother, her edu... Every, look, you know, she's an educator and a communication consultant, a, a communication specialist. And she has gone across the globe with storytelling, including the continent of Africa. Could you help me welcome my sister friend, Dr. Amina Blackwood Meeks. Let me just say, sometimes the technology do some things, you know, it frees up on you like it thinks so that it fit them. Look here. Yes, take her off screen like the unfreezer. Is what do the technology sometimes? It can do some things, you see. Find a little warm water and just pour it somewhere there for me to just, yeah. But that happens sometimes, particularly when we have, you know, windy conditions. But not, it's not so windy here now, but where she is, might, there might be a little, um, maybe the, 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 the band, 
with is not so hot. I mean, I don't know, but we have a fine out in a little while. But let me just talk a little bit about uh, my story with Miss Lou while I work out, I mean, and while I get other instructions from the producers of this event. You know, I first really seriously met Miss Lou in 1971 when I did my first pantomime. Uh, I was given the <laughs> I was given not the alternate, but uh, that person who is just there in case the juvenile lead cannot perform. I wonder if you know what the name for that is. I'll come back to it. So you could do an entire three, four, five, six months and never get one night on the stage because you're just the understudy. That's the terminology. You're not alternating. And one night the show started. Audley Colton was the stage manager. I'll never forget. And I don't know why he would have sent the show because then again, we work on time. So I mean, he just thinks that a particular juvenile lead was there. And so the show start, and in about the opening scene or the second scene, the juvenile lead is supposed to come on stage and me not see the juvenile lead. So and now forget it, Miss Lou was downstage right near to the edge looking down the orchestra pit. So I sidled up to her and through my teeth I said, Miss Lou, I don't see something. And she said, just look at me, she said, hawk child, hawk. <laughs> and did I hawk? And I, there was a solo song. There was a solo in there, which I had to sing. I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone with myself tonight. He is gone. And we had to sing a song. And at the end of the occasion, guess what? They organized and gave me a compact with face powder. And that, that was my experience. Look, I mean, I know I'm to my friend, I mean, about them disconnect from when we're supposed to hear in my ears piece. So let me see now. Ah, ma'am, ah, you did it. You did that. Listen to me. That means I'm going to sing more. You're fine, I mean, I know. <laughs> you still having technical difficulties. And right after this presentation with Amina, I had wanted, they had arranged a conversation with Amina, myself, uh, Blacker, and um, Mrs. Darby. So we really, we really want to locate Amina so we can put her on. Or maybe we could go to Blacker in the meantime, right? Blacker, if you're dead, my brother, just, you know how it is with theater, we find, a, right? So let, let's black if you you tell me who you want me to, to bring on at this time. All right. So let me bring on Mrs. Norma Darby, who has been such a stalwart where the keeping alive of Jamaican culture is concerned in Florida. She does it with passion. She does it with such love and care and attention and diligence. So Mrs. Norma Darby, could I bring you on to speak with me? Here she is. All right. Um, unmute your mic. Uh, Mrs. Darby, make sure that you unmute your mic. So I want to be able to hear you. I want to be um, um, production team. Make sure that Mrs. Darby's mic is unmuted. Okay. Let us see. All right. Thank you for that, Tanya. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Darby, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Ah, I'm here. Voila, voila. Love it. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is sing happy birthday for Miss Lou. Galang. May we, may we happy harmonize? Birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you, dear Miss Lou. Happy birthday. For everybody now. Happy because as far as I'm concerned, Miss Lou has been with us all these years. And she's listening. She isn't gone. She has just transitioned to another place and is teaching a whole heap of other people all about Jamaica and the culture. So, yes, Miss Faye. Yeah, what I is it? What is it that caused you to to start this council in Florida? What was the what was it that went off in your head? To say, look here, this is necessary, it needs to be done, and we need to acknowledge Miss Lou in the way that you have started it out and continue. Well, it started a long time ago. Um, you know, when when you are a little children in, in, in Jamaica and you go to Pantaman every year, and you see all the people, and, and you see Miss Lou and Mass Run, and Miss Lou was just a jolly lady that made everybody laugh, right? Well, my dear, me migrate to America and left Miss Lou behind. 
And then I took part in, I've always loved culture, and I took part in a cultural presentation put on by the city of Miami. And everybody up on stage and sing about them culture and talk about the culture. And our association was selling curry goat and green banana and, and, and rice and peas and, and jerk chicken. And I said, but stop, we have culture too. And I go for my Miss Lou book. And I read the book and I said, next year I'm going to recite Miss Lou. Well, in the interim, we got into the music and you know when I immersed myself in it, I almost drowned. And so that is how the Jamaica Folk Review started so that we could perform our, our music and share our culture with our community. Well, my dear, Miss Lou, I met her actually, worked with her when there was a twinning of, of um, Coconut Grove and Port Antonio. We were both on the same committee. And later on, we did a concert. And she said to with, with Miss Lois Kelly Barra. Ah, so so and, and she said, Lois, they are not produced. And I said, what did Miss Lou mean by not produced? I said, the next time I see her, I'm going to ask her what she mean by we not produced. She said to me, when you are produced, you will know. <laughs> so, oh, might I just say to you, Mrs. Darby, I want to bring you back later on for more of a conversation. And that time you joined Laka and Amina. But we had a good problem with Amina earlier on. But she tied her head and she took some beer off on it. And she poured a little white lump on her mole. And it looked like she ready. Now, I hope she ready. Now, I hope on a freeze, she freeze again. It'll come in a leg and off her head. It looked like she freeze. Amina? Amina, no man, me need some white from another place here. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, because me did I left out here and go for the white room because I swear. Amina, my sister. Oh, no. Amina, you're having some technical problems where you are at. How is her audio um, um product producers in the production and tech? And the, all right, tell you what, Amina, your audio is not bad I'm hearing now, but your signal is not that great. You want to try? No, the audio is not good. We're not getting good audio here, um, um, gentlemen. You're you're getting good audio there? No. She for it, for it, 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 there's a problem there, Amina. If you can hear me. I'm Ah, there was a problem there with your audio. It keeps coming in and going. All right. All right. We, we're going to, Mrs. Darby, we'll come back to you for the conversation, which you know we have had planned. But uh, Amina, we're going to have to disconnect from you and see if we can make any better ah, any better arrangements with you. But Mrs. Darby, shall I tell you, your bandana looks fabulous. And, oh, thank uh, you. Yes, as usual. All right. So, so, so does yours. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So we'll come back to you in a while, Mrs. Darby. All right. We'll be right back. So let, uh, producers, take it away. I think you have something else that you want to do at this point. All right, and while, while they get ready for the studio, let me tell you, I just like what they have done with the studio. It really looks good. You, you've all done yourselves, um, all of you who've been working behind the scenes to ensure that today. And I saw a comment that it really means a lot to people that you have pulled so many performers from so many different spaces and places to honor Miss Lou in this way. So let me just say thanks again to all who have come together to collaborate to make this happen. Back to culture. Uh, there's a young man called Charles Smart and there's a woman called Sharanda Farrell and they've been doing a lot of work in this area just with our national heroes in particular and also to use that to um, pivot and get us thinking in a different way about ourselves, you know. Uh, so we're, we're working on that. We're working on that. But Bandana, yes, I had said earlier on before Miss Lou um, dignified it. They used to call it market clot. And me and two people getting almost serious fists across feet one time. Why, why do you wear that market clot? 
Somebody says, excuse me, what are you talking about? And by the way, this is the real traditional bandana, the one with the broad stripes, the one with the um, narrow, narrow stripes. That came about because we could not find this original. That's a shame too. So make we go on into the studio, the lovely studio they have prepared. So here we go. Over to you guys. All right. Well, they say lay hands on no man suddenly. Sometimes you're doing a production and the spirit calls for another folk song. And even if you didn't rehearse it, you just go with the spirit. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's a famous song called Chichibaru, and we know that you know it. And I want you to join with us wherever you are around the world. When I'm going to say Chichibaru, and you're going to say some of them are holler, some are ball. Chichibodo, some of them are holler, some are ball. Chichibodo, some of them are holler, some are ball. Chichibodo, some of them are holler, some are ball. Some are beat up, some of them are holler, some are ball. Some are doctor ball. Some are ground up. Some are Some are Some so ladies and gentlemen there is a producer who owns this lovely studio called moments to remember Mm -hmm. And earlier we were doing a song while we're going live called Timber. Timber Heavy Loop. So I want to invite the birthday man, Sir Loop, to join us. Because he used to do that at school. Wilmers. Yes. In fact, he was he has all the harm and he's worked out. So if you agree with me, just give him a round of applause. Thanks, yes, Come Loop. Come Loop. Now the care folk singers did this song very well over the years. I was part of the care folk. Ah, oh, see yeah, that the man was part of the care folk singers. Oh, man. And that is how Miss, Miss Lou's spirit moves in it. Moves in mysterious ways. Jesus. Make good up your walk with you. Come on. Well, even though we have some band up here, but we bring them forward, right? Timbo. My good friend. All right. All right. I want you to start out for me. Timbo. Come in, look. Timber, 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 Timber chop on me head, oh! Timber chop on me neck, Timber ya! Timber chop on me head, oh! Timber chop on me chest, Timber ya! Timber chop on me chest, oh! Timber, timber, timber head, Lord! Jump on me, stomach in my yard. In my drop on me, stomach. on me, and empty my yard. In my drop on me, foot in my yard. In my on me, toe in my yard. In my on me, toe Timber drop on me, empty my yard. Timber drop on me, empty my yard. Oh, timber drop on me, empty my yard. 
Timba Japani. Timba, Timba, Timba Mbilo. Timba, Timba, Timba Mbilo. Vedi troppi sangue. Dopo il sangue. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my father. Those two women are having a wonderful time. Have you ever heard? All right, so them having a wonderful time in that studio. But timber, I wonder if I don't know what kind of timber we are talking about. Because, you know, we used to have to carry lumber, timber, all right? <laughs> Enough things go on. Let me just um, make a note of two comments. Daphne Edwards, thank you for the comment. CG, Anne Marie um, Bennett says, Love me some CG. You are the best. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have a little conversation now. Uh, we're going to bring back Mrs. Darby and the Consul General Oliver Mayor and myself. And if Black is somewhere around where we can find him, we're going to just just uh, spirit him into the space. And thanks again. Go on, call down the doppy them. Uh, who, Shanti, which doppy one for call? Lilith Nelson says, indeed, Raymond, but as you know, many of the Caribbean folk songs are passed down in several islands. You're so very right. Because when I listen to you as singers and listen to some of the islands, the songs they have from the other islands, really amazing. Uh, we're, um, we're going to get CG in here shortly and, and Blacker so we can have this um, just about a 10 or so minutes conversation. Yes, Harold is saying CG is representing well. He knows no other way. And he's a real performing per, performing arts person. He knows how, you notice he was able to jump in there and help out the scenario. Again, we are apologizing for the connection with Dr. Amina blackwood Meeks, but the, it is really very, very bad. So CG should be in studio now uh, because, yes, CG, and so too Dr. Sue. All right. Them look like two musketeers. Even I trust them doing no. Anyway, so <laughs> let me. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you each um, the same question, and uh, you can just share your sentiments. What does Louise Bennett Coverley mean to you? Beginning with you, Doctor Sue. Oh, oh, Miss Lou. Miss Lou means everything to me. As I tell people, she was the person that I looked up to growing up. She was my mentor. And I had the opportunity to meet her. You know what? Stay far, CG. We're going to take off, We're going to take off my mask. Right. Um, and just hang your body away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turn Good. the body away from him. Um, <laughs> yes, man. Miss Lou meant a lot to me. And as a child, I had the opportunity of meeting her. And I tell you, the day I met her, she looked for me because I had won a um, essay competition, gone to King's House, and she come up to me, and she pinched me from me jar. She said, put us, never stop writing. And Auntie Fia from that day, you know, stop write. And so she was a big influence to me. And having left Jamaica and gone back to the UK, I was just so enamored and able to take everything about her with me all right you know, thank, I, I, thank you i'm going to come back with another question but let me ask oliver mayor you've spoken a bit already oliver but if you could just give me a little bit more in terms of what does she mean to you thank you Faye. for me miss lou is a mother of culture i mean she is the one that has really set our culture life she made us all proud to be jamaican to speak in our native language to speak part and feel proud about it and what I loved about Miss Lou is that Miss Lou made everybody feel a part of the family. Mm -hmm. And if you watch Ring Day, everybody, she encouraged everybody, she brought out the best in us. And as we go through this trying period in COVID, I think now is the time for us to celebrate Miss Lou even more because she had that spirit of take, take bad thing, make laugh. So even as we go through our trials and tribulations, we can laugh, we can still have a good time and she gave us something to think about. And so I have to say maximum respect um, to Miss Lou. I love you. I had the opportunity to meet her and take a picture. And trust me, I think I'm going to make millions off of that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell thanks, CG. And I'll say this, you know, you talk about take bad things, make joke. She was a person that I learned this from. You have to take kin teeth, so keep a heart bun. Oh, I learned right. that from Miss Lou. You have to take kin teeth, so keep a heart bun. I want now to ask the same question of Mrs. Norma Darby. What does Miss Lou mean to you? Well, um, 
Miss Lu is my own personal national hero. I have um, tried to carry on her, be a, be a little disciple and, and help to spread the culture and carry on what I think she would have liked, which is to educate while you're entertainment. And that is what our mantra is, edutainment, educating through entertainment. And um, I've had a, along the journey, many people, some of them are right here, Dr. Sue and Malachi Smith and Colin Smith, who were at the very first birthday celebration of Miss Lou when she, she, when she transitioned we celebrated her birthday that same September. And we raised so much money from the audience who just gave from the heart that we were able to do the first two Louise Bennett Coberley scholarships at Edna Manley College. And it's been going on ever since. And you've heard how many students now have benefited from that. And um, from, we started the reading festival based on Miss Lou and what she was trying because miss lou was a cultural activist most of all oh yeah she's and a revolutionary a revolutionary absolutely mm -hmm. and we felt that we could best carry on her work by showing the depth of her rather than a, a comedian you all know right. she used her comedy to convey what yeah. she really wanted us to learn about our culture but and there were so many layers grateful, eternally grateful yeah. Indeed, there are so many layers in our pieces, though. One yes. other question to each of you, and then we're going to be wrapping this up. What more can be done to make her legacy more apparent and available? And okay. that's for you, Dr. Sue, starting with you. What more can be done to make Miss Lou's legacy more apparent and available? And I say that because so many people fought and on that don't know what we're talking about and what is all of this about. We need to use, um, have the opportunity to use times like these to continue to bring awareness to who she was and what she was about. She wasn't just a comedian. She wasn't just somebody, she wasn't just a stage performer. Miss Lou was somebody who was much broader than that. She had, when it comes to social um, commentary, she used her writings to satirically put together stuff that, you know, even the lay person could understand and be informed about what is happening. She was somebody who lectured. She was a broadcaster. You know, she was somebody who was um, very much, very important to our culture. I mean, CG mentioned it, but Miss Lou single-handedly, I think, put the, our Jamaican language, our patwa out there on the the, 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 the the main stage when, so she was was this? when she was broadcasting. And a lot of people need to be aware of that. We so need let me... to we can't lose the opportunities that we have to continue. She's an icon. She's someone we look up to. She's someone who was very steeped in the Jamaican culture. And a lot of us are walking on her shoulders now and on what she has. You know, whatever we've become today, whatever we're doing, there's some element of influence from okay. Miss Lou. Thank and you very much, Dr. Sue. Thank you. And that's a question to you, to CG. This is Oliver Mayer. Let me not just get too familiar and just say CG, our mm -hmm. consul in, in Florida. What more can be done to make Miss Lou's legacy more apparent and more available? Let me tell you, when I was at, <clears throat> when I was at University of the West Indies, I had the opportunity to study her work with uh, Professor Mervyn Morris, and you got an, you got a feeling of the depth of um, the work of Miss Lou. So even though it was performance, and even though she had the ability to speak to the masses, um, like Shakespeare, there were different levels to her work um, that could appease the intellectuals as well. And um, so for me, to, to answer your question, I think we need to use every opportunity to, to study our work, celebrate our work. A lot of it is performance. Um, Miss Lou represents courage. Um, you know, she stood up at a time when it was not popular to speak patois, not popular to celebrate um, what I call our native tongue. And she used humor to have the strong social commentary that was needed at the time, her leadership 
for me was heroic. And, um, you know, without being political, I would definitely say Miss Lou is one of those knocking on the door whenever that committee meets again to <laughs> see who should be added to that list. Miss Lee is Miss Lou is definitely one of them that should be front and center. But we need to study her more, celebrate her more. And again, I want to congratulate the Louis Bennett Heritage Council. Because since I've been council general here, at least three events for the year, big events, celebrate Miss Lou. And I, I didn't have that in Jamaica. No offense, right? No, but, but you're, you're right. You're but, right. But right here in Florida, we get to celebrate Miss Lou every single year. And kudos to them. And and um, so again, let's just continue to celebrate this lady who has made us so proud to be Jamaica. Thank you. Thank you, CG. Thank you very much. And just to re reinforce something that Dr. Sue said, so many of our younger people did not know that she worked with the British Broadcasting Corporation. Yes, she did, the BBC. And of course, she worked in Jamaica on both re um, radio stations. There were under two in those days. Yeah, now we have 30. Yeah, radio stations. But uh, Nadia Hon, we want to thank you. And CG, you mentioned her courage. You're so very right because she had to have courage because she was going against the status quo. She knew what she was up against and she put up one hell of a struggle. You understand? Because she was not going to stop what she was doing because she knew the importance and value of the work she was doing. So, uh, Mrs. Darby, you have one minute to answer this question. What can we do? What can we do to make her legacy more apparent and more available? Well, that is not a very easy question you put to me, Miss Faye, because we are, we are doing a lot right now with the Heritage Council. I'm, I'm speaking yes. outside, outside, yes. of, outside yes. of Florida, outside, well, of, outside Florida. of Florida, outside of Florida. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Miss Lou was alive and well in China because while I was there, my students had to learn about Miss Lou. I learned this long time, gal. So, <laughs> so we can export that, you know, as as part of the the culture with um, books, music, because she was all of that. She was a, a writer, a musician. And um, we just owe her such a great debt of gratitude. Okay. So I want to thank. I don't know as I can say, except yes. that um, we are doing with the with the um, Heritage Council. I want to please quickly give a shout out to Valerie mm -hmm. Simpson and Dr. Marcia Magnus, who put me in the way of getting the reading festival started and assisting me in getting the council started. Without okay. those two ladies, those two stalwarts, we would not be where we are today. They made Thank it you. Fun for us. Thank you, Mrs. Darby. And thanks to Dr. Sue and CG for just participating in this conversation on, um, and I know I bold you with that very weird question about making yes. her, her legacy more apparent and available mm -hmm. to that serious thing. I find That's that true. people are more, um, as, as CG said, we are, some of the studying that should happen. Thanks to people like Dahlia Harris. She's, she's been doing yeah. some research. Joan Andrea Hutchinson has worked with Miss Lou, done interviews, all of that. I want to just thank you so, so very much. Muta Baruka, I want to thank Muta Baruka as well. And I, this now, all of you reggae performers and your dance hall people, please understand that prior to Miss Lou, this is a language thing that we are comfortable with now internationally. It never used to happen. It never used to happen because she legitimized the language, the use of our Jamaican language. And I call it a language. Some people call it Creole, dialect, patois. I call it a language. And at the University of the West Indies, we have the Jamaica language unit. All right. Lilith Nelson is also making some other comments there. I, I, I want to um, just acknowledge Calvin Mitchell. Um, Calvin says he worked several times with Miss Lou. Calvin played drums, you know, and Quincy Brown from Cayman, who's in Jamaica, want to acknowledge you because I know you love her dearly. And everybody who's putting comments in here. We need to teach about Miss Lou in schools. Our young people need to learn about her and her poetry. And that's Nadia Hahn from Canada. And she's put a link in the chat. Okay. I have more TV programs similar to, I missed that one, and Charles Hyatt, no, not Charles Hyatt, Charles Hyatt, too, God, but his son. He said, I love shows like this. It's time to take Miss Lou out of the realm of entertainer and move her over to cultural activists. Well, we all know that, you're a cultural activist, you know. 
I don't know who no know it. Because, well, we call her a revolutionary. Anyway, where, where, um, producers, where would you like me to go now? You want, you want me to go to Clarendon, Smithville? Okay, you want me to connect with Blacker? Um, is he is he live or on video? So Blacker, we are going to now hear um, Blacker Ellis. Anybody know what Blacker's first name is? If you know what Blacker's a given name at birth is, his first name, put it in the chat. I have a prize for you if you know it. So let's go to Blacker Ellis. We have to celebrate Miss Lou, who, me and you, because of the range of her work, a range of vast. Miss Lou had a point for every occasion, from political commentary to social discussions. She had a point for woman, point for man, point for lovers, point for protest. Her work had a vast range. And as actors, you can find a Miss Lou poem, a Miss Lou piece for every context. From the boy, everybody know Love Letter. I went to one that is by my favorite. It's a poem for a boy, young man, street boy. I beg your pardon, copy, lad. No, 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 it means you can make a right purpose, make a leg of my hand. Lord, thank you so much, a good man. Make a kiss your foot. I go and run home to Mumma now. I get friend of him, Ruth. Miss Lou had a wide range of work. That's why we have to celebrate Miss Lou. Miss Lou is immortal. Miss Lou, we love you. well into her middle years, took on one of the most difficult types of programs to produce on television, an informal half-hour show with an audience and the cast of children. Each Saturday, while cameramen line up their shots and lighting is adjusted, Miss Lou works with her children in what looks like a scene of utter chaos. Actually, of course, the technicians on the job are proceeding according to a plan, and Miss Lou, undisturbed by the movements and the noise of the studio crew, the bedlam of voices on intercoms and from the floor, serenely rehearses her little singers, dancers, and actors. Men. Oh, right. Okay. Keep rolling. 
Thank you. To your polling studio. Stand by. To an onlooker, it seems impossible Five, that order will come out four, of this chaos. Three, but performance two, time is near one. and the on show clap. goes on. Coming up on two, stand them by. Cue them. But um, she gets um, better all the time. I think that she's always improving, and that is one great thing about being a performer, to be able to keep up with the times and to be doing uh, fine all the time. Every time she goes on stage, she's ready with a nice, beautiful act. <laughs> And then it's all over until next week. Same time, same place. You know, you see productions and you have no idea what goes into a television production. I want to acknowledge right now the genesis of Ring Ding because Ring Ding had a genesis between Barry Johnson, the late Barry Johnson, and Leonie Forbes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Idea. Then they went to Gordon Town and sold the idea to to Miss, Miss Lou. But the, the lady you're looking at there with the big afro, in those days we all had big afros, was Max, is Maxine Trotter. And Maxine was a producer. You heard her giving all the instructions, right? I think I glimpsed Conroy Cooper on keyboards. Madre Wiley was a person who was with Miss Lou on Ring Ding most Saturday mornings, if not on, on at the JBC Big Studio. And that is what we were seeing um, there. So I, I just... And again, I want to thank the producers of today's event for putting all of this together to just ensure that you get a varied and complete picture of her contribution. But then there were others who made her contribution possible. I just wanted to name some of those people um, that I did just now. So let us move on with the show, as we say in the business, on with the show. You must say man in body. Man in body. Me no body for you. Then a who then? A tenor. Which a tenor? Tenor sir. Which a sir? Saka buyer. Which a buyer? Buy a steel. Which a steel? Steel a go. Which a go? Go the far Which a far Papa ma. Which a ma. Mama Dougal. Which a Dougal. Dougal flash. Which a flash. Flash a Benny. Which a Benny. Which a Benny. Benny had a man that could play for the young girl Rose. He going to go mama. Then to go for the lucky female girl. And when you hear that, what do you think? I mentioned earlier on about Miss Lou's influence with the language on reggae uh, and dub poetry and dance hall. We're looking at you know, that, that, that calling thing there and that rhyming thing there and that thing, it has come from with culture, with history, with background, and it is present today. Ask Big Ben if you don't believe me. Big Ben, where you have to say? And if you know a Big Ben, you know, you know what they are represent, Miss Lou. They are about the culture, don't you? know more about some things might happen in a life. They can't really explain. We have to just understand, say, you have power at work, don't Purchase your tracks today. We lose some friends, they make me mind so mess up. They fight not easy, but me glad me get up. Them no give man life, but me them want to set up. Apply the pressure, you me now go let up. Them a pray me fall for them, go my set up. I wish so hard for Big Ben by the dust. I wonder how me now go and me stop. Anything me talk a fox, now nah, for block. True to the game, the realer than the clocks. Them a weird touchy stage with no fear for make everybody hear. Them a listen to me pain, them will never see me tears. Stay clear of the fake, the end of my own alien. Change the game, make them know, see me serious and no play. Every day as my beat, chant a psalm, start my day. No fear in me, I so negative for my brain. Work, get me pay, I feel grinding out the day, yeah, yeah. Life come with changes, different stages as you flip the pages. Elevate your mind as you go through the ages. Every choice so you make, pay the wages, eh? Life come with changes, different stages as you flip the pages. Elevate your mind as you go through the ages. Choice so you make you a fit. 
Me lose some friends, it make me mind so mess up The fight not easy, but me glad me get up Them no give man life, but me them want to set up Apply the pressure, you me now go let up Pray me fall for them go my set up I wish so hard for Big Ben by the dust I wonder how me now boost and me tough Anything me talk a fox, now fi bluff Yeah Ready for when them a bring Could a jar for your gun But me rather for go sing Could a kill a man for fun Me rather for no sin Could a beat up me gum But me rather say nothing Them a chat Them a judge behind your back Them a grin They want a deal when the flipping table spin Them back who win and you can And when they never have a thing Everybody want a friend Because them see they done a win Life come with changes Different stages as you flip the pages Elevate your mind as you go through the ages Every choice so you make you have to pay the wages eh? Life come with changes Different stages as you flip the pages Elevate your mind as you go through the ages Choice so you make you have to Me lose some friends if make me mind so mess up The fight not easy but me glad me get up Them no give man life but me them more have to set up Apply the pressure, you me now nah go let up Them a pray me fall for them go my set up I wish so hard be big Ben by the dust I wonder how me now nah boast and me stop Anything me talk a fox, now nah fi bluff And if you know a big Ben Yeah man, but they are represented I think I want to send him to London, the name Big Ben, right? But actually, he's um, continuing um, some of what Miss Lou had done and there are so many others who've worked in that genre who are um, just continuing the work. I, I've been looking at some of the comments here. Big Ben, I um, uh, want to thank you, my brother. Norma Darby says a big thank you to Colin Smith for his unending support and for taking the NBC Heritage Council and its mantra of educating through entertainment to new heights. Big, big thank you, Mas Colin. We want to thank you. And then there are some other comments that were coming. I'll go, I'll get back to that. Somebody said that's 12 years old when I was introduced to the works of Miss Lou. That's Quincy. My start on the stage at uh, was with Rose Turkey by Miss Lou. All right. You know, I think somebody has made a comment that parents and grandparents should be telling their children and grandchildren about Miss Lou. Well, here is a 15-year-old who is going to perform on the show this evening, and I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. So will you help me welcome Elizabeth Sadler? I'll tell you more about her afterwards. This long time, yeah, me never see you. Come make me wall your hand. Long time, yeah, me never see ya. Come make me hold your hand. Peel a chunk of it on in a tree top. Pick up the blossoms. Make me hold your hand, girl. Make me hold your hand. <laughs> Boy, Miss Lou never is here at all. You know, she actually published her first poem when she was over 14 years old. Yes, my love, 14 years old. She a who we call one legend, cultural icon. Mm -hmm. Boy, Miss Lou, I wish I was here today to see the beautiful island you help create. From she born and grew up, Jamaica she knew. From the sweet melodies to the island. Breeze the sun, sun and sea Everything I see Made into poetry By who? Now you miss Lou by who? Yes, I you miss Lou Louise Bennett Covalley cultivated and created a movement designated to vocalize the lives of the hated, segregated. Now there are new ways for Jamaica's generation to express their frustration and admiration for the nation to embark on a creation in music, storytelling, poetry, in literature and theater. Yes, the way we live all thanks to you, Miss Lou. The way we live, the way we do, it's all thanks to you, Miss Lou. She is. 
Bills. Oh, and nation builder. Culture promoter. Language developer. Oh, and nation builder. Culture promoter. Language developer. Miss Lua, me go skip to a loo. Oh, and nation builder. Culture promoter. Language developer. Oh, and nation builder. Culture promoter. Language developer. Miss Lua, me go skip to a loo. Ah, Skip to Milou. Come on, could you bring her back on screen? I need to talk with her. Skip to Milou. All right, for Milou. Uh, that was a 15 year old, Elizabeth Sadler. Elizabeth, you are a student at the Queen's High School. Who first yes. introduced you to Miss Lou's poems? Well, Auntie Faye, I actually started doing poems in general in primary school. I actually did my first poem when I was in basic school or kindergarten. And then I continued in primary school, and I'm still going on strong in high school. But to Miss Lou's poems, I believe I started doing them in primary school for JCDC. I was, and about, my, to say, I was about to ask if you had participated in the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission's uh, competitions. Yes, yes, I did. Yes, which, I did. Was, which, which, which poem got you the, the best award? Uh, it wasn't a poem actually it was public speaking yes i got i won the nationals i believe for public speaking or the finals for public speaking yes before you go you are a poet you write your own work yes i do yes i do anything have you published oh no i haven't no <laughs> No, no 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 it's not impossible how many poems do you have stashed stashed away uh around five i would oh. say okay no well hello so you can put some more down and you know you can plan on publishing maybe in another year or two you Thank are you, at the queens. i can't make you go and not ask you this it is online learning and all of that and COVID 19 how have you been coping oh my huh <laughs> online learning has not been easy at all and let me just say i a hundred percent prefer face-to-face -face classes, okay? Now, for years, we as students have been saying, oh, we want online learning. I want to go home and stay home and do classes from home. And now we have that opportunity and it's a complete nightmare. I'm telling you, I I, I would love to go back to school. <laughs> I know, I can well imagine. What grade are you now in? I'm in fifth form, yes. So you have this year, you're just starting fifth form, right? Yes, I yes, I ah, and this is a year with the um C Sex coming at the end of it and all of that. We yes. wish you the organizers of this event and I'm wishing you good management of your year. It's going to be hybrid, some of it is going to be online. I hope we'll get a chance to go face to face, you know. Yes, but um try your very best and we wish you everything that is good. And keep writing. Thank See lots of thank people in chat. Lots of people in chat are saying you should publish, but you don't have enough to publish yet. I would love to interview her for Good News Jamaica. Somebody want to interview for Good News Jamaica, Charles Hyatt, right? That is the Charles Hyatt, so name Charles Hyatt. And um, good going, Elizabeth. Keep up the good work, says Eileen Talk. I'm reading these things for you, Elizabeth, because you need to know how people are thinking about you and what you've done. Okay, got it, Elizabeth. Oh, kind of Hannah Clap, Elizabeth. There's Shelly, Shelly Cameron says, Keep writing. Okay, love Thank it. you, Auntie Faye. Yes, my darling. God bless you. Same to you. And walk good and make good doppy walk with you. You know what that means? <laughs> we are laughing. You know what that means? Walk good. Thank you, good Auntie. Yes. You. you know what I mean? Me not think you know fully, you know. <laughs> okay, you Auntie Faye, tell me. Explain <laughs> to me. <laughs> Somebody is here to protect you when, on your journey. Yes, man. Well, but my darling. Okay, isn't this lovely? I'm hearing, I'm hearing a little girl, a little baby's voice somewhere. So, um, honey, if you tell me now, me to get so involved in an interview, me forget where they tell me, say, Mr. I don't know. May I tell you at my age in life, you're lucky to remember anything at all. Eh? Dainty is coming on. Dainty, dainty. Dainty, dainty. Um, she, is she going to perform? By the way, notice what I did a while ago. I said, is she going to perform? And I did. It's a Jamaican thing. It's a black people thing. We talk with remote. We say, look on Charles over there. So look at him pants foot. <laughs> we good.
good with the talking with remote. Dainty, my sister, you're going to perform for us. And Dainty has been working on the part of the production of this event as well. But let's hear her perform. Gate Man by Owen Blacker Ellis. Me is a gate man, key man, watchman, security expert. Everybody asks me, me you know, partial key to our curry favor. Everybody must show ID. You could have been manager, governor, or prime minister. Me solid more than rock. If you don't know, respect me and brandish your ID, the main gate just going to see a lock. Me is a gate man, key man, watchman, security expert. I have power and carry weight. You know how much big management and admin people get discipline when me hold the front gates. Me make them murmur and grumble and beg, complain and explain and wait. Me make them lose them temper, cry a heart, and I'll get into hours late. The man walk on chalk line, man get vex and resign. Through the power of my key and me. Me no use conscience. Me no play ease up. Me no give life. Me no cry cree. Me is a gate man, key man, watchman, expert. You know much big neck people me teach lesson for free. Anybody pass through me, learn quick, quick. Can me not take arguments. Me take I B. Give the nice personal management lady she. Eh? What Indian lady named Miss Lee? Me know her good good. Because she interview me and give me the bunch of key. But she come last Thursday boat. Morning rookie. Oops, I left my ID. Look on her tough as day. Oops, not enough. That now go working on Miss Lee. She get red. She starts totter and splutter. Then she reason. Then she plea. <laughs> Just kiss my teeth. I sure what the sign say. Staff must show I be. <laughs> She cancelled two meetings, cancelled three appointments, and go back home a Clarendon for her ID. Me is a gate man, key man, watchman, security expert. People have to respect me. Even the big chairman and CEO guy. Him drive up last week. With him show for him Chris SUV. Yeah. I see him pitching up in the yard house. And the place you name after him. But. He never have him ID. <laughs> so. I give him the drink. But then park up there still. Till fight broke out. Seven more security intervene. Me and me turn down to kick down to and Karachi. The other tree. Me is a gate man, key man, watchman, security, bad man. Nobody can stop me. There's a last week they fire me. But oh, teeth the bunch of key. <laughs> that's dainty and that poem was written by owen blacker ellis owen has a book of poems well books of poems i have some right here amazing uh, i don't if you if you don't know owen you don't understand the depth and breadth of a man owen yes and his first name is owen you know owen may ask some people your first name i mean, we, we always say owen blacker ellis but this time i say blacker ellis some people say alton <laughs> alton ellis some say noel Ah, oh, anyway. So I want to know how the producers could organize this show. Nobody asked me to perform. 
excuse me, Onif, Onif, I'm asking a question. How could the producers uh, organize a show and nobody asked me to perform? I I'm very upset about this. When you roast the yellow yam and you slice it in a two, how nice it will be with the aki and the salt fish and the sweet flour dumpling stick in your ribs with the coconut oil oh what a glorious day when you roast the yellow yum i don't know why they meant to philharmonic not decide to back me me don't know what do them if them think them better than me so join them then if you think the mental philharmonic is better than me join them take it away colin i bex long time gala miss luda sing that to you know and enjoy it yes man she used to enjoy that very much let na alin roll i sent you this thing in the pantomime group and you acknowledge it and i reminded you today you are watching and you say you could I eat a piece of the yellow yam but i'm gonna tell you something let now no matter make them people know organize the show guess what happened Today, see, they come and know me had this this evening. I may had a quite a day, me had so at 3 30, about 10 30, 11. I put on a pot, you see, and I put some yellow yam in a pot, and I make some cornmeal dumpling, mm -hmm. and I fix some salt fish, mm -hmm. and I cook a piece of pumpkin. I used to me eat that from about a little bit before 12 o'clock, become a busy. And you see, when I done this, bam bye. Anybody know what Bambai mean? Let me put it in other thing and tell them. All right. So then, hi, what have we done? We've almost come to the end of the show. All of you people, all of you people, all of you people, almost a thousand of you. Somebody said nostalgic, great memories. Jamaica's mentor is similar to Cayman's kitchen dance music. You hear that? This thing, I know, when we do them thing, I know the cross fertilization and the learning kitchen dance music is a terminology that they have is what they call their thing in cayman thank you quincy for that um come back with wheel and water motor, motor water miss Faye, says Anne marie bennett see then they put me on the program but them have a produce my record let them produce and then for this one enough people did like it eh, eh, people have finished already and i use the term bam bye anybody understood what that mean Bambai, when you put down something for later, I put it down for Bambai, I put it down for tomorrow, our leftover. Yes, Dorrit. Oh, show your outfit, show me outfit before we leave. You know, make me start, let my head top of a cut out. It was one of the years, you see, we had a thing named um, denim, denim and bandana for festival. Me keep my clothes then long. Mm -hmm. 
because this is a long thing because I, mean, I remember one year but I could feel like seven eight years I may yes I may have enough different bandana things yes coming I'm hungry wearing for special location but let me just say to Onif and uh, and um Binti, uh get ready me darling but I want to say to Onif I met only yesterday and to Charles, he and I have been chatting, and all of those persons who work together to make this possible. I want to thank Mrs. Norma Darby for the work, the foundation work she's laid, Colin Smith for stepping in there with your knowledge and experience and carrying it on, for all the entertainers, all the, the contributors to today's event as we honor the memory and legacy of Miss Lou on her birthday, September 7, right? I want to thank you all for sharing, but most of all, I want to thank you for being online and just enjoying this so very much and your comments. They, um, somebody is saying we need more of this kind of interaction. And um, uh, Bruce Owen, thank you for your comments. Uh, we need more of this. Uh, it's just coming, great show, enjoy. And again, we apologize for those occasions. There's Onif, that's the guy I'm going to marry. I'm going to marry Onif. Does he know that I'm going to marry him? Anyway, keep by your mouth, keep by your mouth, keep by your mouth, keep by your mouth. But I want to thank everybody and to apologize for Amina Blackwood Meets, Dr. Amina Blackwood Meets. There was a big problem with connecting and her sharing and she had something so special. But we hope that that will be fixed on another occasion. Anyway, we're only if gone. He may have married to you. I see him there. Okay, then. So thank you very much. And I just want to close off this show by saying Miss Lou would have felt that we've done her good by acknowledging her the way we did today. And I am going to leave. Well, I'm not going to leave. I'm going to stop talking because Onif has something else he wants to do at this time. Sharanda Farrell, very um, hardworking on the back to culture and working with with uh, with Charles on this. We want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Or CG, uh, Oliver Mayor, Council General of Florida. We want to thank you so very much for not just being here and contributing by way of welcoming people but jumping in there and performing that's you that's you so Anif, my friend i'm gonna hand things over to you do your thing nobody that a soul move don't move an inch don't move because what is keep your bahama island right which party day uh with that um from that performance that i I just saw you do. I wish I did have you performing, but as you said, I only met you today, right? Which was unfair. <laughs> so you kept yourself hidden, right? So my future wife, y'all, and and she's. I just met her yesterday. <laughs> but <laughs> with that said, um, ladies and gentlemen, please join us in the pledge, all right? Before God and all mankind, I pledge the love and loyalty of my heart, the wisdom and courage of my mind the strength and vigor of my body in the service of my fellow citizens. I promise to stand up for justice, brotherhood, and peace, to work diligently and creatively, to think generously and honestly, so that Jamaica may, under God, increase in beauty and prosperity, and play her part in the wealth of the whole human race. Yes. All right. With that, we're going to cut the studio. Don't go away. One, two, huh? ready? Yes. One, two, three. Kiman, 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 lock the door and go. Oh, yes. Kiman, 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 Kiman. Keep on lock the door and on. A fear of every animal was saving the earth. Saving the earth. Saving the earth. I say a fear of every animal was saving the earth. Keep on lock the door and on. Oh, 
Jamaica, rose bread fruit and banana. Are we off? Under the tree with a glass of lemonade. That's Jumping at the river, we'll be ready for beer. And the boy can't buy me out. Me no foreign mind. You know we're coming to Jamaica. Jamaica love. We wanna feel Jamaica love. Everybody wanna visit Jamaica. Jamaica love, Jamaica love, Jamaica love, we want to see Jamaica love, now I never present the synthesis of Jamaica love, represent for the part, to the original star, from the time we're talking about the world, from the first blood and the world. Jamaican have the link to the link to the Canadian, Canadian American in that. Make sure say when they are foreign and not so much. I'm suggesting that more some of the nice or something like this. All the other them fear about me shot. Don't flash out all the money back. It's a spear. Any sick comes out, I'm in the shot. Real Jamaican, I'm not sure me you want. No matter which part of the world you start. Me no matter what them want to say about Jamaica, I'm singing out loud. I'm proud to be one. Peace. Jamaica love. We want to feel Jamaica love. Thank you so much, y'all. Miss Faye Ellen Zana. Thanks to the team. Great presentation. So many folks in the chat room. We say thank you also. Well, Norman, once you hear that song, it's officially over. But there could be three minutes brata. Three minutes brata. And I've seen this um, song get mentioned so many times in the chat room. So let me drop this one. Still on the mental spirit. When the war was over and everything was fierce, everyone experimented with things. And some more. Sure. Plenty of show me, show it, show it. I like Sharon. But all me remember the good old days of dip and fall back. Oh, he goes, sir. So. Dip and fall back. Oh, he goes, sir. So. Dip and fall back. Dip by a vice cola if they cook the dip and fall back. Get your shard and mackerel and put it to boil. Get a bone dry This is what you call culture. Rukum bai de la santa te rukum bai. Look at the gatekeeper. She held that gate so tight, not even got you let through. Pick up herself. Let me take your back. I and I man forward. Find a different scene. 
If you ever use a Kershinal Baka torch, number seven in the chat room right now. Number seven right now. If you ever use a Kershinal Baka torch, I got one minute to go. I and I man forward. Man a different scene. I and I man Cali weed. I and I man queen. Everything was iry. Getting in the groove. I just a come down to movement. When someone said, don't move. Well, it must be a dopey or a gunman. I man no find out yet. I and I is so frightened. All the dark on me, I'm thinking. Where's my choir? Well, it must be a dopey or a gunman. I know that's what I to see. For he was a boy. Hey, Colonel. Colonel. Hey, Colonel. We got listeners around the world, viewers around the world. Ask me. All the friends of Jamaica, big up on the shelf. Last night, just when you're ready, the you work you sure. You get stitched. This is my 